Hello, safe scumming tubers, and welcome back to RNG Abuse Emblem 4 with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode ended on a dire note where I was very concerned that I had just ruined my playthrough, basically having to go back to an entire chapter. But I managed to find a way that preserved the content so we didn't lose our hard work in the arena or our continuity-wise level-ups rather than resetting them all to different level-ups, which is what would have happened if I had to reload, which would have sucked because then you wouldn't have had... I feel like, anyway, the viewers would not have the same connection with the characters because they would have different stats and a different experience and they would have all done Chapter 4 completely differently. So, how did I do it? Well, Byron got that lucky dodge eventually. The way I did it was using save states, and if you're ever stuck like this in a Fire Emblem game, uh, I almost feel bad explaining it, but there is a way to, to save scum your way through it. Assuming you have a non-zero chance, and it was very important we did that math at the end of last episode, because if it turned out that it was a 0% chance to dodge, then there's nothing I could have done, and I would have had to basically restart if I wanted to keep him alive. But the way I did it was good old Arden boy... I can send them to the arena. So one of the things about keeping someone in the castle that I hadn't really thought of, but if you ever want to save scum, this is, I guess, the way to do it. You leave somebody in town, you can use the arena as many times as you want. There's no, there's no end turning, there's no limitations, you can just send them in over and over and over again. So, Arden essentially can move the random number seed forward by going to the arena. So, if, in case you're wondering, if you put a save state down and do an attack, like, uh, let me just test, show, show this off, for instance. So, like, if uh, if I put someone with a non-zero or non-100% chance to attack, let's say, uh, who's not super accurate? Maybe Aaron here. If we attack here at 88%, whatever we get, that was a miss. No matter how many times I reload save states, which are, like, a snapshot of the game's internal memory if you want to think about it like that no matter what we do as long as we take the same action she will always miss that first strike every single time we could do this forever now if you switch over to a different weapon uh that has say 100 percent, sure that will hit but essentially the 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 random number for the next roll is already set and it is not 88 percent or higher it's or however you want to think about it, but essentially, out of 100, the next one is, say, 11 or something. So she fails her, her check or something. If you need an 80, if, let's say, I don't know how the math works, honestly, but let's say 88% chance to hit means you need a 12 out of 100 to hit, which is a sensible way to do it. Um, it means that the next random number is always something lower than 12. Now, I don't know exactly what number that is, would a 98% miss? Maybe, maybe not. So it's a number somewhere between 2 and 12, I suppose. You could kind of work it out a little bit. But essentially, that number is already picked. The, the next random out of 100 roll is already selected. Reloading over and over again, loading your save state doesn't change anything. So essentially, Byron will die every single time. If the enemy has an 88%. It was something similar, so that's actually kind of nice. But every time someone takes an action uh, that uses the random numbers, so you either attack or I'm not sure what all rotates the RNC. Level ups, probably. Attacks, evade, statuses, maybe not heals, probably not heals. But anyway, anything that actually uses a random number will sort of, you know, go to the next random number in the sequence. Because they're all predetermined numbers in, in the sense of programming. It's, it's random, but... You know, they're all predetermined in a sense, so save states mean you always get the same thing. Anyway, enough rambling. Essentially, we reloaded, we we tried over and over again at the end of the turn with Arden doing different numbers of arena fights until Byron finally survived. It took me about five save scums where Arden would reload, add one more to his arena counter, and then leave. So I, he ended up having to lose, I think, five battles in the arena, not one, two, three, or four. And then finally, Byron dodged the axe. So that's all you missed, and hopefully that explains it better than I would have been able to do on camera anyway. Or like, you know, while I was testing things out. So anyway, let's go back to animations on. So now... Now, we can talk to him. If we talk to him, that's going to lock Sigurd into place, because you can't move after you talk. So we're going to have a lot of axe guys coming Sigurd's way. So there's not really any choice, this is just what's going to happen, but 
Just keep that in mind. It can't be, Father! Thank the RNG gods, you're alive! Sigurd, what a splendid young man you become. <coughs> I never knew you could travel through time. Father, come on, you mustn't give in now. Someone, use the restore staff. Recover staff. Oh boy, now someone's knocking on the door. I'll be right back. And hello again, folks. Sorry for the interruption. Have I mentioned lately how much I dislike being <laughs> being treated like a volunteer property manager for my building that doesn't get paid and just deals with all the crap nobody else wants to deal with? No, I just had to mention it on camera. <sighs> just complaining, Ankylo. Anyway, so where were we? <laughs> a very emotional, touching scene that was interrupted. <sighs> Father, come on! You mustn't give in now! No, there is no hope left for me. Listen well, my son. Langbolt was Prince Kurth's true killer. And Reptor is one, the one holding his leash. His majesty must know the truth. Could you write it down and sign it? Notarized? Aye. Death holds no fear for me. But I cannot die in peace knowing if our honor shall be cleansed in these lies. Not knowing. It is all as I thought. Rest assured, father, our good name will be cleared. I promise. I'll slay those f those fiends. Sigurd, I, I beg your forgiveness. Tis my negligence which condemned you to these torments. Sigurd, take this. It is Tyrfing, our exalted blade. <coughs> Tyrfing? But father, surely you still need this. Take it, Sigurd. Use it to kill our enemies. I mean, restore our honor. Father, no. Sire. Why? Why in the world did you have to... Ah, Reptor Langbolt! Mark my words, you will pay dearly for all you've done. Alright, Sigurd's real upset. Glowing with anger. And immediately equipped the broken sword. Super helpful! And I can't even change it. So we're going to have to protect him so he avoids the same fate as his father. But at least he's got lots of HP, right? Okay, so let's have a look at things. I ended up doing the same last turn as you would have seen me do, and I think it all went about the same, other than do not, you know, getting back in time. Uh, let's see, so priorities here. Let's just focus on protecting Sigurd for the moment. We've got a whole bunch of axe guys on horses. The problem is they can all canto, so how much damage are we looking at here? Uh, 30 damage each. Uh, so 8 damage per hit. It would take a lot. Now, they're all going to be relatively accurate. 92 versus not actually 98. Mind you, weapon triangle, so 70. And if I can move Rash Quizzes, it goes down to 60. So, assumedly, about a 60% chance per hit to do, I said, what, 8, 9 damage? I think I said 8 damage. 8 damage. Uh, so, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48... That's assuming they can all get there. Uh, actually, this guy cannot. So, eight times... Also, these guys can't attack in Kanto. I'm surely going to put someone beside him at the very least. So, it's probably around six at most. I think six is the most that could attack him. The boss will go last, so he probably won't be able to attack him. Even though, technically, he has range. So 6 times 8 is 48. I remember my times tables. That means he survives. He might even dodge a couple of those, which would be nice. So I'm okay. I just gotta make sure I protect his flanks and kill the mage. I think. So let's start off by having somebody kill this guy. It would be nice for Dew to steal the money, but it's just, just no time for stuff like that. Technically, we can do another dance off with Sylvia to protect the team, which is probably not a bad plan. And Jamka can only attack one of two targets, so let's go with the further back one to open. Because if he gets a crit, he probably gets a kill. 41 times 2 is a lot. Or an adept. That also works. Good job, Jamka. And he even gets a little level up out of it. <laughs> yeah, a little level up. That's what I said. Okay, so that's covered. Next up, Mage. Now, I'm probably not going to send anyone to the village yet, because I can do that with Dew or Ira to pass around gold. 
Although Midir is probably one of the ones that could use some gold anyway. But let's open with Midir. Let's see how he looks here. Uh, he kills almost for sure on his first round with Brave Boats. So this is, should be safe. No need to worry about counters. It's nice to use Brave Weapons on Mages, uh, I find. Because then they don't... Because they always do pretty good counter damage. But Brave Bows with physical damage, getting two hits almost always one one shots them. And you know what I mean. One... one one round of combat before they can actually t do an encounter. Alright, with that done, we got an Axe Guy. This should be fairly simple. Beowulf still ended up healed at the end of his turn, so I want him up front. He will also be fairly safe against Axe Guys, I think. Now, he does take a lot more damage than Sigurd, so maybe this is not totally safe. But... He's going to have even better avoision, avoid, my favorite. But if I put uh, Rakwasis nearby, that's a 6%. Well, Horse Axe guys might be a little bit better. Let's do a little bit of math. I could put him on a defensive tile, but I think I want to use that for somebody else. We should try to protect Jamka, I guess. But I, I just want to make sure it's a, more likely as if I leave this tile open, he'll get attacked from the north as well. So we're looking at 92 hit, 44 evasion... Plus 20 is 64, plus 10, assumedly, no, plus 20 more. So 20 from Weapon Triangle, 20 from Charm plus Leadership. So he gets 84 evasion, which means, yeah, 8%. They might hit him once or twice, given how random numbers work, but I think he'll be okay. So it is important to get Rakusis up there. I could put her on the house. She would get 20% from that, plus 20%, plus 20%, plus 20% from the house, 10% from Sigurd, 20% from her sword, that's 50%. That makes her in impossible to hit. I don't think they will even attack her. I don't really want her to visit, but I do want her here. Plus, she gives crit bonus to Beowulf, which is totally not necessary, but... Alright, so she should be impossible to hit. Which means if, if they want to attack her from that tile, that doesn't even matter. So I just need to block up the tile south of Sigurd, which should be safe for Lex. Now, he'll be easier to be hit... But 24 defense means they can only do 6 damage per hit. They'll be more likely to hit him, but he can take all of them. He would take 10 hits to die. That's every single one of them, and they can't all reach him. So yeah, he's fine too. So let's do that. Let's equip him... The Brave Axe, I guess. No specific reason. Why not? Okay, and then we just need enough people to make sure we can crush the rest of that army, and this side will be safe. And I didn't even use my Dancer, so I might be able to do some, some shenanigans with uh, Dew here. I can't return him unless I dance. What do I want to do? What do I want to do with Dew? I guess it doesn't matter when I promote him. It would be nice to get him stealing money again. Someone could go down here. We could send him down south. I don't think we could make it in one turn, but in two turns, we could steal that money. Just get him promoted after we've killed most of the bandits. So that we can pick up the gold. We can save the towns at our leisure, kind of thing. Doesn't really matter that much, but that's what I'll do. Alright, let's do the other army here. I haven't really thought about it, but we do need to make sure we survive over here. Now, Alec did dodge, so we're off to a good start. Ah, uh, let's see. The mages are kind of priority. The brave axe is second priority. I wonder if Holand could just wipe them out. So we're looking at 26 damage. 44 with a Luna. If you get a Luna, we win. He's actually got a, some chance of countering us. No adept, so it's just the Luna chance to get bonus damage. Or we could try, like, Bridget... Who will... Uh, she will deal 49 damage. That's not a one-shot, but he can't counter her. She's got Pursuit. She doesn't even need to use the Youthful. We could put her here. Assumingly, I would like... Like, I still want to get love points, right? We're not done falling in love. If I put her on that tile, someone kills the mage. Then Holland kills an axe guy. She can... Let me just do some math here real quick. That's not enough damage. Alright, well. I still think getting a one round on the commander is worth it, even though we're spending about 3,000 golds worth of Yuffle on it. 
I think technically he could have used Pavice to get out of that, technically, if he if he got lucky. Sure, have some luck. I mean the Ufel's not gonna break anytime soon, but it's it's not cheap. Alright, so can we kill a mage with like Alec or something? How much, what kind of weapon has he got? L Thunder, so he's got four speed, which means we've got an easy doubling, assuming we can do enough damage. 20 damage if we get hit. Kill one way or the other. If we get hit, we might pull back. Mind you, I think Alec versus Axe Guys should still work out pretty well. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. So he's got a fair amount of HP. He, he's got a sword. I, uh, these guys can't canto. I'm going to put Holen uh, in this square. So I can actually leave Alec here. If I can kill these two. He could hit by magic. Magic plus one axe guy shouldn't kill him. <laughs> How much damage do these guys do? Uh, 32 is lots. They do 16 damage, that puts them at 15 if they hit. And then, uh, 14, 26, <laughs> uh, 20. That's a kill if they manage to hit them with both. Noish. Alright. I would definitely like to get a kill here, I think. Getting hit was unfortunate. I'm, uh, I might be pushing my luck with this squad a little bit. Noish is not gonna get a kill. <laughs> yeah, pushing my luck a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, wonder if I could kill the mage. And then Kanto to safety. 24 times two, that should be a, a kill, right? There's no way the mage outspeeds uh, promoted Azul. So, if the mage is dead, I I feel a little bit more confident. Axe guys will have pretty low odds against sword guys. Please dodge. Thanks, Azul. Azul's just a little bit more weak to, to axe guys. Okay, good. So I'm a little bit more I'm a little bit less sketchy about this. If I put him here... Well, Noish is not going to get a kill, though. So this opens him up. I think I put him in the trees. Only two should be able to attack him. He should be fine. Uh, math, 32 damage. 11 defense, 20... Yeah, he can take two hits. Yeah, he can take two hits. And... Holin, man, I, I definitely need some dodges, I think. So, Alec could take two currently. No one no one can walk around behind him. Holin would take two. Alec would take two maximum. If I move Noish here, only one could hit Holin. So who do I want to protect more? Holin or... There's not really anything I can do for Alec. Unless... I, I could try attacking this guy with Noish... He might get Pursuit to kill, or not Pursuit, uh, charge or a cost. Yeah, we go for that. That's the most helpful thing we could possibly do, I think. Uh, 16 damage, yeah. Two hits would kill, so if he gets one round of a cost, he gets the win. Or a crit. Crits also work. Thank you, Noish. Okay, cool. So that's... That's pretty safe, I think. Poland can take two hits. He'll probably dodge. Alec can take one hit. And Noish can take two hits if he needs to. But yeah, two hits at most. And Bridget should be fine. She can also take two hits. She's also very, very dodgy. So it'd be much harder to hit her. They'll probably go for Bridget, actually. Might have been smart to put Noish over here. But anyway. Okay. All right. Aaron's going to go save the village, I guess. Although money-wise, it might be better just to let the village get burned and then steal the, the thief's money if you really want that. Eh, doesn't matter. Sometimes there's good... There's, sometimes it's smart to, to optimize. Sometimes it just doesn't matter. 
You want to save this village? I should save that village because we can save it this turn if I uh, do the correct dance. So Lewin needs to be one, two squares closer. Let's make him three closer just to be safe. And we'll dance him over. This just saves us a little bit of, of money in terms of... Because we're going we're gonna to send some to the village eventually. There's no way we don't double here. I have another knock on the door. I love my life. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. I will be back in a little bit. All right. Hello, do not disturb tubers, and welcome back. Nah, we're already in the middle of an episode. You know what's going on. I'm back. I'm getting a little cranky, but I'm not going to take it out on you guys. I'm just going to try to enjoy my spare time doing the hobby I love to do, and no one's going to knock on the door. Okay, uh, if it was something important, I wouldn't even mind, but this is not even... Ah, anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to survive down here. Uh, we killed a thief. We'll visit the village later. I did double check uh, at some point. None of the villages on this chapter provide items, so it's just for money, which is why it's not a huge priority to save them, unlike some of them where it's like very, very important to get certain key items or, you know, rings and stuff. But still, getting some money is going to be nice for the end of the chapter. There is a formula for how your parents pass money down. Uh, they they don't. I'm, I'm joking. Your parents in this, in this game, they pass down one... 20th of their cash to one child and 1 20th of their cash to the other child so you could work it out by adding up the twos together so um, if you had a hundred thousand gold if both parents were capped uh, 100,000 divided by 20 is not very much 5,000 gold I think so at max gold they pass down a little bit 5,000 gold per child that's not much so um, I believe the recommendation is to buy stuff so you can pass down an item because even if you sell the item at half price, you essentially sent down 50% of your gold rather than uh, uh, whatever, 2% of it or whatever whatever the number, 5%, right, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> 50 is better than 5. So are we done this turn? I hope I haven't made any huge mistakes because of all my shenanery. Too many people, man. It's a, it's a Friday afternoon. I. Uh, I don't have anything I need to be doing. I'm supposed to be free to, uh, you know, play some Fire Emblem with you guys. Good thing I'm not streaming. Oof. This is part of the problem with trying to live stream. Is I my life is everyone just knocks on my door all the time. All right, we got Arden inside. Nobody else. Okay, good. Let's keep going. This is going to be a weird episode to figure out how long it is. So many cuts. Well, the first one was like five minutes. The second one was like another five minutes. So we can't be too far in yet. All right, so Broken Sword Sigurd. Now, I'm expecting some Kanto shenanigans on the cab, but we did do the math, right? I, I double-checked this. There's no way, even if every single one hits them, which is still only 58% per hit, it shouldn't happen. But even if they all hit him, he'll be okay. You know, I know the game only runs one random number, one RNG, but uh, you don't have to really rub it in my face there, game. Anyway, the last cav there was stupid and got stuck in front of Sigurd. So now they can't keep hitting him thanks to my uh, cav wall. Yeah, in the end, only four or five of these guys even got to attack. So I don't think we've dodged a single attack today. Let's just get all the bad random numbers out of the system. Get a lot of no dodges just sorted and then when we really need them later actually to be fair we used all of our good luck by save scumming to uh to save lord byron and get the sword um so it's it's totally fair that i get some bad luck now like make no mistake i deserve some some bad art random numbers the rng gods you know they will smite me down for my uh <laughs> whatever you want to call it blasphemy of reloading and saves coming to victory All right, one miss for Bridget and Holin. Wow, they do a lot of damage to Holin. Won't he die? Wait a second, he dies in two hits. Okay, Holin, you need to get one point of defense here right now. Tch. 
I was sure he could survive two hits. Pull in. 39%! I was... I was sure I didn't have to worry about him. Remember last turn when I ended with uh, Noish on the right side instead of the left side? Because I'm like, ah! This is why you always have to do the math. I just blame all the people knocking on my door. Alright. This, this, this has not been a good chapter. This has not been good at all. Alright. Let's do Sigurd's side quick because we already know what we're doing. And we know that it works. So I am going to super speed most of this repeat content. And you guys should understand, I hope. Hopefully I remember everything I did. It's, it's been a little while. Beowulf. I mean, it's been like five minutes for you guys, but it has been like an hour for me. What is this? Does anyone need heals? Probably not. I could, I could, you know, I didn't think of it. We could have just returned Sigurd. Well, I'm not going to undo it, but yeah, actually that would have worked pretty well, wouldn't it? I'm going to run the turn the same as we did last time, but essentially that would have been a good option as well. I just didn't think of it last time. Alright, and we did a, a little trick... Over here, with uh, Lewin, I remember that much. A little bit of a dance, a little snipe here. I decided to run due to the south to steal some money, and Aideen up north. All right, so the north side's the same. So the way this went last time was actually fine, except basically for the ending with Noish. Now, I don't know if we'll get a crit again, so we might mess it up. But the plan still worked with Holin, so we still want to do the same thing, I think. Holin ends his turn there. So we do the Yuful. Hooray. Then we do... Which one was it? Alec, because Alec can kill the mage. Yes, double attack. So he still got hit, same as last time. I could move him over there, but he's... I'm going to try to stick with it exactly the same as last round, except for the one thing I did differently, which was uh, where I ended Noish's turn, basically. Just one little mistake. All right, now if we get a crit here too, that'll be nice, but if I don't, then it's I probably deserve it. So I did not get a crit, but we actually got the charge to trigger. That's nice. Of course, now Noish took some damage, so maybe he will die instead. 32. No, no, he's got enough defense to take two hits, right? 14, 14, yeah, so he's, they could hit him three times. Just shaking my head. Just shaking my head here. Alright, the north side should all go the same as last time, approximately. In fact, it should go very much the same. The south side. Hey, okay, bandits, bandits, bandits. Alright. So they're focusing on Alec and Bridget. That's fine. I'll turn animations back on now. They really are focusing on Bridget. Look at that! She just jumps right over their axe. Such a Legolas. Oh good, more emails. I'm not gonna read them. No. I don't care. The, how the apartment can be burning down. I am not gonna interrupt my video anymore. Stop emailing me, people. Alright, so. We're back! Uh, yeah, I mentioned by unit. Okay, so now that Sigurd is equipped, it is no longer like, I can actually change his weapon. I wonder why, when he gets the weapon from Byron, it immediately equips it and ends his turn. Like, is he supposed to be, like... I guess the idea, maybe he's, like, sad that his dad died, so he doesn't really look up from the ground and all these guys try to kill him while he's while he's down. Maybe you really are supposed to return him back to castle so he can repair it or something. 
Anyway, this side... Let's... I didn't quite math that out either. Oh well, one more city burning. Who cares? <laughs> um, let's, uh... Let's see what I want to do. I think Holin gets revenge. Because technically, in a different timeline, he died. I thought he had more defense. I guess maybe I was thinking of, uh, like, Medir is the one with surprisingly high defense, and Holin's still kind of weak. There, okay, sure, this time he gets the defense up. That would have saved his life last time. That's hilarious. Classic. I'm not going to waste the Yufel on a boring armor knight. Even if we don't kill him, I don't care. Okay. That just means Noish can get a kill. Noish. I kind of think I'm just going to have Dew kill the uh, bandit in the bottom left as well. Or, yeah, you know what? If that town burns down, who cares? Just head on forward. I didn't check the math. You should always check the math, guys. These steel axes do a lot of damage, obviously. Blue Ankylos life lessons. Always do the math. But yeah, you gotta forgive me. I've had too many interruptions. It's thrown me off my game a bit. I'll try to I'll try to get it together here for the rest of the episode. That's a nice level up. Good job, Ansel. Okay. So, Dew kills this guy eventually. This town burns down. Nobody cares. I think once the town's burned down, he will move over. And that'll get us more than... Like, right now, there's 3,500 gold or so. And by the time we would have killed him, it would have been down to 3,000 or 2,500. And then we would have lost out on more gold. So, what's the point? Dew has lots of spare room, though. And I do want Aaron, I guess, to save this one. 17 damage. Should be times 4. This does not give her a kill, does it? Wow. So I guess we attack with this for this turn to get her better evasion. And then next turn we use the Brave Lance. Yeah, these, uh, these Axe guys, they're pretty tough. Oh, she just got adept twice, by the way. That was not a brave sword. <laughs> that was a double that was a double adept on pursuit. <laughs> adept is pretty good when you're fast. I don't know what the difference is, but Slim Sword, so she's got an attack speed of 25. He's got an attack speed of negative two. I think it's 20 plus the difference in attack speed, which is what is so he's got a negative two, she's got a 25, so that's a 27 base chance plus 20 so if it's if it's 47 or nearly 50 percent odds of getting an extra attack on a slow enemy that's pretty cool that's neat i like that all right now we got a lot of axe guys we've got slater and i gotta remember that he's got backup but it's a long way away so we don't have to worry about that okay ira can only make it so far so that's probably all we do is get a kill here assumedly most assuredly It's even a full HP Axe Knight, so that's the best use we can get out of Ira. She triggers her Astra. How often have we even seen five full strikes of Astra? Hmm, even faster. Hey, if she can cap out her speed, that'd be hilarious. Hilariously awesome. Alright, Taltia. I wouldn't mind getting her some fighting, although she can warp her way up if she needs to. But uh, there's lots of things to kill, so... Claude is not going to be fighting anything. Jamka... will definitely kill this guy. Yeah, these axe guys, the cav axes, they're not really that tough. I don't think they're even as tough as the armored guys. They just, um, you know, horses are OP, so they can canto and keep smacking you. They must not be a very high level either. 17, yeah, that's pretty weak.
pretty sure we have this kill here as well. The, the tag team archers. You definitely see the difference in damage, though. Medir's doing 33 minus their defense. Like, is the killer bow more base damage? Is that maybe what's going on here? So 33 total attack because of 19 strength. Oh, it's because Jemka's got 8 more strength. 14 might. Yeah, same same basic might, but Jemka is actually a lot stronger. Alright, neato. Alright, Sigurd, do you think he wants to kill Slater, who was trying to kill his dad? I think that's kind of fitting. Not with the broken sword, though. That's a bit much. 23. He, he can't do it on his own. He needs help. Telltale, why don't you weaken this guy a bit? If she doubles, he dies. There we go. What's this? You rebels have already come this far. How could you have breached our front line so quickly? Time travel. No adept. That's okay. Alright, Sigurd. This was the guy trying to hunt your dad down. I think you know what to do. Slay de Slayder. Ah, 28%! Stop it! Ah, oh, we've been breached! The sword has breached my skull! Uh, Alright. What if I should go back to repair? Are you kidding me? Are you friggin' kidding me? I am terribly sorry, everyone. This is ridiculous. 